What's going on guys? I'm Brad, this is Despite Fitness. We're in the garage. Today is uh, uh, the 6th of December, which means it's a Monday, so it's a squat day. Um, we are in kind of the post. <laughs> I, I fucking, I just, I really hate, I really fucking hate this, but we're in the post congestive heart failure fucking <laughs> era. And this blows, but you know, at least I'm still training and still walking around, so I guess that's cool. Although, to be fair, if I was dead, I, I wouldn't really know any better, I'd just be dead, right? So like, this is almost worse, because I'm not dead, and I know I'm not dead, but yet I can't do all the things I want to do, and it pisses me off. But we're going to work with it, because we have to. Do you look really funny saying that and now that you have a beard? <laughs> it's fucking obnoxious. It's obnoxious. You know, like, it's obnoxious, but like, I, I, you know, healthcare and I'm grateful for, you know, I'm grateful. I am. I really am grateful. Like, I'm grateful to be around and be kicking and be like, yeah. But like, you know, it kind of sucks when you feel fine, and I do, I feel fine. I feel better than I felt for like months. I feel great. So I feel fine, and I want to go train the way I want to go train. But I'm told I can't. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, all right. I'm not gonna get off on a tangent. It's a grumpy bro. I'm not gonna do what everyone thinks they're gonna do, which is totally flip out. It's a, it's a grumpy brawly. It's a line from a movie. It's it's Jerry Maguire. Yeah, yeah, it's probably brawly. probably an older movie than most of you are familiar I with. Wanna grumpy I'm gonna take the golf. Goldfish is come with me. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so moving on, we're gonna do uh, winning <laughs> warm up. Um, we might have to kind of piecemeal through this like one at a time. Uh, you know, to make sure that, I, that I'm okay. Uh, but gonna do, gonna do some leg curling, gonna do some pull down for some back activation. Um, I wanna do some adductor with bands, just gonna warm up the hips and stuff and, uh, you know, help increase some hip, some hip stability. And then we're gonna do abs and then nat roll, nat rolls. Uh, which makes it sound like some kind of a Christmas dinner delight, but like, Probably not. <laughs> no, it's not. Probably not what you're looking for, kids. <laughs> um, anyhow, so uh, we're gonna do some ab stuff, and this will be different. We've never done this here in the gym before. Um, so if you're watching the video and you're curious about what this is, this might be the hook. Not really, but uh, you know, whatever. So we're gonna do some ab work, and again, it's just for some some trunk activation because the plan if I were going back to program, would be SSB five rep. Um, I don't feel quite ready yet to get back to like normal plan and training. So we will do some SSB squatting, um, but I don't think it's gonna be like a super heavy five rep. I think it'll be, well, it'll be whatever I can sustain is really kind of how that's going. So, um, yeah, anyway, so just kind of another glimpse, another another training day in, uh, you know, this post-congestive heart failure chapter of my life, um, which I'm just so excited about. Totally. Um, but, you know, really the thing that I want you guys to, to really take away from all this is just perseverance, uh, you know, continuing to drive, even in the face of adversity, um, even when things aren't necessarily going your way, or things aren't what you would like them to be, doing what you can just to make the most of whatever it is because no matter where you are, that's where you're at and you got two choices. You can either piss and moan and just be dissatisfied and angry or you can try to find a way to make the most of whatever situation that you're currently in and, and then move in and continue to move into something else. Um, so, that's what I'm attempting to do, even though I am extraordinarily dissatisfied with things. Um, I'm still trying. And if I can still try, so can you. Keep your chin up 
and uh, keep keep doing the best that you can. So hopefully you guys will stick around, check out this video, and um, yeah, we'll kind of see it maybe as we go, or probably more on the backside. But uh, but yeah, here we go. Let's do this. Wow. Taking all the views, stepping on place, feeling the fear. I know you're feeling it in the air. Whole squad wearing all black, motivations looking real bad. Huh? We back to the bone, raising a fire alone. We ain't never needed nobody. Give me six feet, this is my party. Ain't got no feelings, we heartless. Take a peek inside the darkness, blow up the spot, then we run it. Ready or not, here we coming. Somebody better say a prayer for me. Tonight may get a little crazy wow. You can meet me outside But you better buckle up It's a wild ride Welcome to the wild side Wild, 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 wild. Welcome to the wild side To five in the morning, do it again in the morning, do it like we did as rhyming. I think the government watching, minister perfect society, struggling with my sobriety, struggling with my anxiety. Are you feeling the insanity? Anger inside of me, there is a war in me, and it keeps trying to me, blinded by all of the vanity. All right, so uh, for this, I'm just doing 315. Well, uh, 65 pound bar, so three, uh, 35. Um, I'm trying to go for five. And what I want to demonstrate, um, because I try to be very realistic and very like transparent in everything that I do, on 225, I did, or I'm sorry, 245, I did a set of five, and then afterward, I got very foggy. Um, so I don't know if it's a result of the meds or the changes in me or the whatever, but you know, I got through the set, the weight was no problem, had to rack it and literally just had to kind of like hold on to the bar and just stand here. So I'm gonna do a set of, um, you know, 335 and see how this feels. Hopefully I can get through it. I suppose worst case scenario, I have the, uh, the straps here to, to catch me. Um, but again, just in being transparent, I want you guys to see the whole set and then the aftermath um, to see how I, how I present after this, because the 225, you know, gave me a bit of a hard time. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna do this, um, but I have a feeling it's gonna take something out of me. So, um, yeah, here we go. Around and they rattling. Tell them to shut up the chattering. Blow up the spot, then we run it. Ready or not, here we coming. Somebody better say a prayer for me. Tonight may get a little crazy. Not quite as bad as the uh, not quite as bad as the last set. I have like kind of a fogginess. Um, it almost feels like it almost feels like the um, you know when you when you used to turn on a channel and you didn't get the channel and you just got the static. I feel the view almost feels sort of like that, um, but I'm aware of things, right? So I know the camera's here. I know Nat's here. I, I know where I am. I can still see things, but it's just kind of like, 
it's just a little foggy. So, yeah. The weight felt fine. I think I ended up doing six reps, which is pretty cool. But, uh, but yeah, I guess, you know, I just want to be, I want to be very transparent and like kind of what I'm experiencing in the event that some of you out there end up experiencing something similar to me. You can maybe use this as a bit of a, as a bit of a guide. Um, or, you know, for whatever other struggle that you might have, you know, just maybe it's, it's a slight motivator to see somebody else trying the best that they can, even, even in, in a diminished status. So, um, that actually went pretty good. So I might either do that again or go up. I haven't decided yet. Okay. Stay tuned. Some days I don't hit, I don't sleep. When I'm focused, I'm dying, just down. Wonder when I'm anxious. Ain't no limit till I tank. I'm running on fumes. The hopper system don't amaze. The roads risen through the pavement. Get your hands out of my bag. I know that's because I've been in it. I don't need the bag. I guess that's what happens. Right, you take right, care of right, your right, bags. Right, What's right, the fact that you do the math? I'm out of my pocket. You still got a problem. but not as bad as, not even as bad as the 325 or whatever it was, or 335. I guess a neck stiffness. I guess that's kind of to be expected though. I haven't really had anything on my neck for a while, you know, four weeks. Yeah. So, some neck tightness. You know, feel that exhaustion. Especially in the very back of the neck. Mm. <clears throat> or in your nose. But uh, aside from that, pretty straightforward. Probably way more than I would have expected. You know, that's uh, 425 for a set of five. I, I didn't use a belt. So no belt today. Um, I do have some knee sleeves on, but the no belt is not a, um, I don't see that as like any kind of a badge of honor. I just didn't feel like wearing it today because I, I wanted to auto-regulate. I wanted to not go to my absolute heaviest or whatever because I gotta kind of play it safe. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, that's the only reason to go beltless is to purposefully auto-regulate so you don't go to your heaviest. There's no, no badge of honor about beltless squats. No one gives a fuck what you can squat beltless. Everyone cares about the most you can move and you're gonna move the most weight when you wear a belt. Mm -hmm. So that's a little sidebar tangent, but um, really pleased with that. And in fact, I think we'll go ahead and we're gonna close down the workout uh right there um happy i'm very satisfied with what happened here nat did good nat, nat dug deep and got through her working sets um probably again in terms of like grand scheme of things probably not the greatest workout we ever had but all things considered a great workout right probably one of those keystone workouts when you can Confirm to yourself that you can push through things. Or you're gonna kind of overcome some level of adversity. Sometimes, like that's the, the critical, the critical step is is kind of re-engaging self and building confidence. And like that's what happened tonight for me is 
but you know, rebuilding a little bit of confidence. Now I know I can stand with, you know, 425 on my back and do some reps. That's a confidence booster. Mm -hmm. So like, I guess take that as a kind of a, take that as the takeaway from today's workout is that like, it doesn't always go the way you want and everything is not always the way you want it to be. And you're not gonna have, like not every session is gonna be the greatest session in the world. But like sometimes little confidence boosters, even if it's just a step, that's one step further, right? You think about like Samwise Gamgee out of like Lord of the Rings when he tells Frodo, you know, one more step and it's the furthest I've ever been from the Shire. Well, sometimes taking those steps and getting those workouts in, right? It just, it's just one more step, but getting that workout in is a big confidence builder and it loads what comes next. And that's the thing to remember guys. It's all about, you know, working to what comes next. And so I hope that you guys are doing the best that you can wherever you are with whatever your various circumstances are and whatever your various goals are to continue to drive forward and take that one more step. Because otherwise, otherwise there's nothing. Nope. If you don't take that one more step, you stop right where you are and you'll never progress. So you always have to be taking that one more step. And like I said, sometimes it's just getting in, getting a little bit of something done and just building a little confidence in yourself so that you can load what comes next. All right, that's it. Questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the chat box. I will respond. I really do wanna thank every one of you for all of your support, especially in the wake of my recent like health issues. For every one of you that have you know, dropped the line and said, gave well wishes. Um, I wanna say a special thank you to Brandon Campbell Diamond, who is a friend of mine and went out of his way to, to write me uh, personally to just check in, which I thought was completely fucking awesome and totally unexpected. So Brandon, thank you. And then also Matt Wenning, another friend of mine. He wrote me out of the blue and was wondering what was going on and wanted to, wanted to hear about me and see if I was doing okay. So Matt, thank you. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, I really appreciate your friendships and, uh, and thanks. But again, for all the other subscribers, friends, family, everyone, um, just thanks. I, I've kind of been overwhelmed by the, the support that everyone's shown me. And hopefully I can uh, show you <laughs> something, right? You know, some measure of uh, my gratitude by continuing to show you what I'm up to and continuing to drive, continuing to do things and hope, hopefully try to be some measure of help and or some measure of inspiration for you guys. So that's kind of what I hope. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. Um, kind of heavy there at the end, but um, thanks guys. Appreciate it, everything that you do. The like, share, subs, the whole nine yards. If you haven't subbed to the channel, I wish you would. And uh, remember guys, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like come back from congestive heart failure or, you know, name said challenge, come back from X challenge. It's never gonna happen. If you don't just take one more step, guys, you gotta get in and train despite. You're either gonna find an excuse, you're gonna find a way, and I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Peace, mother! Oh, so extra. So extra. <laughs> <laughs> you might not wanna get close. We a little wild war. Covered in tattoos. Run it up, taking all the views. Stepping on place, feeling the fear. I know you're feeling it in the air. Whole squad wearing all black. Motivations looking real bad. Huh? We back to the bone, raising a fire alone.